Good morning guys, so it is the last and final day in Kyoto today, later today we are heading to Hiroshima. Uh, right now we've just checked out of the hotel, um, a very good hotel it was. Um, and yeah, so right now we are heading to um, McDonald's to just pick up a little few things for breakfast. I'm not going to have like a huge breakfast like I did yesterday. I'll probably just get like a couple of McGriddles or something. Um, and then we're going to head to Arashima. Arashima. I'm not too sure how you say it. Um, but that's the bamboo and monkey forest. So that'd be a good experience. Just um, the directions on how to get there is a little bit sketchy though. Um, whenever you put it in on the Google Maps, it just takes you to mount, you know, a mountain there. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how we get there, I suppose. But first, McDonald's breakfast. Hello. Hi, could I get um, two sausage McGriddles? So yeah, two sausage McGriddles. So I'll come inside. Okay. So I did good. Okay, so we have arrived at a location. I'm not too sure if it's the right place or not. We've just pulled into this um, car park and there's nowhere to pay. Um, so it's either like a residential car park, a hotel car park, or um, we're not really supposed to be here. Had a few strange looks from people, but I don't know. I guess we'll go and check it out and see what's here anyway. Okay, so we don't really know what's at the top of here. We're hoping it's the monkey part, um, but we're just heading up these steps, and then I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, so we found the monkey park, and uh, we're just heading up to the top of this hill slash mountain right now, and uh, that's where it is. And then we're gonna come back down, and uh, head over to the bamboo forest that's a little way from here. It's actually not on the side of the mountain. It's actually, you have to head over a few streets and it's over there. So we're going to check that out if we have time. Whew. These steps are taking it out of me, I'll tell you that. Thank you. 
So we are at the top right now then, uh, well pretty much at the top, uh, basically where all the monkeys are situated and it's just crazy how close you can get to them, you know how they're just roaming around in the wild and you can just literally just walk straight up to them but um, I won't get too close though because a few of them have, you know, tried to jump at some people so um, look, look at this guy right here. Kyoto from the top. <coughs> Sorry. And he doesn't fit down it. Oh, no, he's going down like that. Why didn't you just walk down the steps? I feel like I Take a moment right here Feeling like it's out gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear
Okay, so we just finished up at the um, bamboo forest. I had a little drone flight, um, which is always good. And then, uh, because we really pushed for time, I literally just had to run the best part of one to two miles in that 34 degree heat, up and down mountains, up and down steps, and uh, directly in the sun. So that was pretty uncomfortable, but um, yeah, I had to run back to the car, and obviously I let Danielle pack up the bags, and then she walked down, and I met her halfway with the car. So um, we're actually on the way now um, towards the station, but we need to pick up some uh, petrol, we need to fill up the tank, and then um, I'm going to drop you off with the bags at the station, then I'm going to take the car back and then run to the station and then, um, yeah, get ready to uh, board the train, I guess. Let's find a petrol station. Okay, so we are at um, Kyoto Station now. I've just uh, dropped the car back and we now have our cases and stuff, so we are just got to uh, head into the station we're doing right now and then we're just gonna find the platform. I think we're on platform 14 for the first train. Um, we're gonna need all of our tickets and JR passes. Just can't wait to sit down now. It's just very, very hot and sweaty today. It'd just be nice to sit on that air-conditioned train. and then I look pretty sunburned on it, but I don't think I am. This one going right now, and then ours is the next one in about three minutes, I believe. Um, so yeah, then we are heading to Hiroshima. So we have arrived in Hiroshima. We have a rental car finally. There was a little bit of a language barrier, which is all good. Obviously we're in a foreign country, so it is to be expected. Um, but the car that we have is basically a fishbowl. So it's, it's a typical Japanese car. It's like a box with lots of glass and um, yeah, as I said, there's not too many blind spots in this car. But uh, yeah, you know, as long as it gets us from A to B, that's all that matters. We don't need to be 
streamlined and aerodynamic, do we? As long as we can get about, and as long as we have aircon, aircon that's that's the most important thing, isn't it? Um, as long as we have that, we're good to go. So, yeah, happy with it? Mm. Mm. I'll do a quick. In, oh my god, look! <laughs> you can just tell on the camera how. How big is that? I don't even know where we're, where we're going. No direction we came from. I'll just go back, I guess. Okay, so we finally checked into the hotel. Um, there's a little bit of drama. I'm gonna tell you about that right now. Okay, so we are staying in the Sunroot Hotel in Hiroshima. And basically we bought this a while back. We always book things way in advance, obviously just to save money. About like six months. Um, what? Six months in advance we always book. Yeah, about six months in advance. Um, so basically when we booked it, we needed to make sure that it had parking available because obviously we have a car and without parking you're going to struggle aren't you? So um, we made sure the uh, hotel had parking and um, when we came to the hotel today we kind of looked around and was like okay so where do we go in for the parking and then we pulled into this little parking entrance at the side of the um, hotel and then this guy was like go around go to reception and we'll tell you where to park um, and you have to pay with coins so we went around to the reception walked into the reception and then we went to check in we said what do we do about the parking and it said it's basically uh, 1200 yen per night but then if you want to leave the car park uh, and then come back it's going to be another 1200 yen and this isn't even a car park on the actual site of the hotel this is a car park which is five minutes away which we are walking to now okay so we worked it out and it's going to cost us around 120 or 150 pound um, for the five nights that we're here and that's ridiculous right 120 pound 150 pound for five nights of parking um, so obviously we wasn't best pleased about this um, and you know considering that it said we had free parking with the uh, reservation and the guys at reception obviously they tried to help us out but there was a bit of a language barrier um, so it's not it's not their fault you know I can't blame them um, so they said to contact uh, Agoda was it? Agoga? Agoga I think it is that's the um, booking company that we used and um, uh, yeah so we contacted them and they basically sorted it out and we have to keep all the receipts for everything that we use on this car park and then you have to obviously send photos and send them by email and then it'll all get reimbursed but obviously that's going to take some time that's probably going to take a couple of weeks yeah by the way we're not there yet so we've got a little bit of walking um so yeah that's going to take a little bit of time so it's just you know all the hassle of that and uh yeah we'll show you the hotel um room um when we get back it's not the best no it's not it's not that bad it's not the best one we've stayed in yet but it's not that bad um but right now we're heading out for some food because haven't eaten like all day all we've had is like that mcdonald's yeah all we've had like today is like that mcdonald's we had this morning and um, we're very hungry now it's been a very long day i just can't wait to um eat get back to the hotel and pack and just um yeah try and get a good night's sleep tonight and then i'll be back to training tomorrow which it's annoying when you know you miss workouts but i'm just obviously just going to have to push them back you know it means i've had a total few days off but you know i've just got to try and get back to it tomorrow and um just get back to normal from there i guess uh, it's annoying but it is what it is so we're gonna head out for some food now oh 
Let me show you the car real quick as well. Because you guys haven't actually saw it yet. On? Yeah. So it's going to come while I work. Okay, so real quick, it's a typical Japanese car and this is what it looks like. That's it. That's the beast. <laughs> I don't even know if it's like a liter engine in this, but it's pretty damn powerful, I'll tell you that. Not. But let's go for some food now. Okay, so we were just about to head to this diner which sells steak, burgers, pizzas, seafood they do everything and um they have two pretty close to each other went to the first one it wasn't even there went to the second one there was just like houses there so it wasn't even there uh now we're just at a supermarket then we're going to go in here get some essentials some drinks things like that um uh, I think we're just going to go KFC because it's about the only place that's open. I need a lot of protein. Um, so, yeah, I'm struggling now to be honest with you. I haven't eaten in like, I don't know, close to 12 hours and we've just been moving all day. Like, I'm struggling. Let's get some food quick. Just got an apple to tie me over till we get the KFC. Okay, so we are finally back at the hotel now. We've finally eaten our KFC after much um, <laughs> trouble. Uh, basically, we went to the KFC and then um, it was literally minutes before closing and we basically went to order our food and they put it all through and then they said, oh, we don't, we can only do cash, not card. And we was like, we don't have any cash. So I had to literally drive round and round in circles, oh, trying to find an ATM, which wasn't uh, the easiest task. Well, I actually found one in a bank, but they didn't accept our cards. So I had to find another one in a 7-Eleven and um, I had to head back to KFC had to pay and mostly we rushed back here it's so really hungry haven't eaten in like 12 hours um and then i'm pretty sure they messed our order up which i'm just going to write it off today it's not been the best of days since we've got in hiroshima we're not going to let that negatively affect the rest of our time here though um i'm sure you know we're going to do a lot of good stuff here and um, it's going to be eventful, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm just going to end the day with a cup of green tea. What I have right here, so that's going to be nice. Okay, so just drinking my green tea. I don't actually like to have my green tea hot i actually just prefer to have it not cold but like lukewarm. cooler yeah lukewarm um that's uh, just so i can just because i don't like sipping it so i just like to you know pretty much down it in one um but yeah we're just gonna watch some netflix now i'm gonna end this video here um tomorrow is gonna be a good day i know it um hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure to give it a like Leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!